welcome back to my channel my name is april and today you might be thinking what the f it's been a couple of days since i washed my hair and i went into like the shops with the intention of just buying a shampoo and conditioner and i did buy a shampoo and conditioner but then i also came across the l'oreal colorista range this video isn't sponsored i am just genuinely reviewing and trying a product what? So I made a mistake in my purchase. I bought the uh, Colorista Ombre, which is obviously just like a bleaching kit, but it comes with like a specialized brush. So I thought, why not get the one with the brush? But I also got Colorista Paint, which is like their permanent color one in blue black. And I just read on the back when I got it home that it's not recommended if you are like blonde. So like they don't recommend this dye if you're like blonde, it's only really recommended if you're like a, already a dark colour trying to go to a blue black colour. So for the time being we are only going to be testing out the bleach. Uh, depending on how well this goes I might do this one over it because it's like so bad that I need to get it like over and done with, with this. Or I will take a trip to the shops and get a different colour that's like one of their semi-permanent range. But anyway, let's get into uh, bleaching my hair. I also have to say before this, uh, disclaimer, I am not a hairdresser. If you do my method, you are doing it at your own risk. I apologise to all hairdressers out there for, you know, doing this to my hair. You know, life's too short to not make some sort of mistake with your hair. And I'm a firm believer of like, if you fuck up your hair, you can just shave it off and start all over again, you know? It's no big deal. The amount of like wigs that are out there these days and with like Instagram culture making wigs like kind of really popular, you have nothing to worry about. Boom, hair is brushed. So I have bleached my hair before in the past. Um, sometimes it's ended well, sometimes it's ended not so well. Uh, but I found that if I color my hair with just like some plain old coconut oil before putting the bleach onto it, it kind of helps protect it. It's nature's Olaplex, if you will. Okay, we have coconut oil in my hair and I've clearly just parted it from like the top half to the bottom half and I've done like one side and one side. And then we go on to step two, which is reading the instructions very carefully. Okay, I followed the instructions and now we have a drippy bottle full of stuff. And then what you're supposed to do is just like take the stuff and go wow, wow, wow. And then you're able to just like brush it through your hair. Okie dokie, here we go. Brush on the first bit. Thank you folks. So the uh, dye is now in my hair and now I just gotta wait uh, 25 to 45 minutes to see how it turns out. Let's pray that it goes okay. This is what my hair kind of looks like semi dry. It might look like a little bit light in like some parts but still a little bit dark especially like on the underneath and like on the other side it's still fairly dark. Um, I feel like I would have to like, I don't know, maybe bleach it a second time for me to get like proper colour payoff. I mean regardless of like how light it is now, I still need a colour to go over this so let's go to the shops. Okay so we are back from the shops, I got a, another thing of bleach as well as two tubes of like the dye that I'm going to use. I'm not going to show you what colour I chose so that's like a little bit of a surprise when I um unveil my hair but at the grocery store they only had just like the normal colorista bleach kit they didn't have like the ombre kit but luckily i still have that comb that came with the ombre kit to help you like apply it um kind of evenly and stuff like that so i'm just gonna use that comb with this kit and then see how it goes the bleach is in take two it smells just as bad as the ombre kit so I don't know. I don't know if this is like if this is supposed to be like maybe like a 
a higher percentage of like developer you know and like that's why it's sold as a, a bleach kit so the fact that I've used both like the ombre kit as well as just like the normal bleach kit would kind of be like a cool way of me to be able to tell whether or not those two kits are like actually different like if there's a difference in like percentage and like the developers and stuff like that so far it's hard to tell very hard to tell but at least with the bleach kit you get a like purple conditioner whereas with the ombre kit it was just like a shampoo that wasn't tinted at all so i don't know well i have just rinsed and dried my hair for the second time after using the bleach kit and i have to say it doesn't look different it maybe looks like a little bit lighter but if anything when i used the ombre kit it was like a little bit less like brassy toned and even though this like bleach kit came with like a purple conditioner I don't feel like it did much to like cancel out any brassy tones but none of that matters because we are moving on to just putting the color over the top okay guys are you ready for the hair reveal boom we now have blue green hair I guess the proper term for blue green is turquoise because that is the color that's on the box. So the color that I used was the L'Oreal Colorista in the shade Turquoise. It gives you a little hashtag there to say hashtag turquoise hair. I'm not going to hashtag turquoise hair um, because I feel hashtags are a little bit odd. But this is what it looks like, you know. I haven't washed it yet or anything. Um, so it will inevitably fade and probably look like really gross. There are parts of my hair where... Um, it wasn't, ex like, you can kind of see it's like kind of a browny, yellow, orangey tint. Um, those were parts of my hair that didn't really lift, um, and I just kind of put the green over it. I will say with the, like, bleaching kit, it, since I have, like, previously dyed my hair with, like, a dark brown and whatever, when I put, like, the, the proper bleaching kit, it pulled out more red tones than before, so my hair was, like, red orange and then like blondie yellow or whatever but I found that like that only happened with the bleach kit itself it didn't happen with the ombre kit which I don't think makes sense because technically there would still be the same kind of like bleaching stuff the only thing that's different is that the bleach kit comes with more bleach the ombre kit comes with less bleach and it comes with like a, a comb but I feel like the formulas within the bleach should still be the same thing but whatever so with the colorista kit um since i bought two this is the one that i use there is still like a little bit left in here um and they also give you a little tinting brush so i kind of put this out into a bowl and then use this to brush onto my hair and i left it on for about 30 minutes um i will say that when i was washing this dye out i found that there was like no color runoff which was like really impressive because it made me feel like it might have just been like a psychosomatic thing but it like really made me feel as if all the pigment was actually just deposited on my hair none of it like ran off and just went down the sink which is really cool because um i've used other dyes like manic panic and um like fudge kind of hair dyes and when you rinse them out you just see like endless pink or whatever color just like going down the sink but this didn't take that long for it to like run clear which is pretty impressive. Overall, I would say that I am impressed with the L'Oreal Colorista range. Um, I guess it's just a matter of time to see how it fades out and see what it ends up looking like in, you know, a couple of washes. But I will be sure to update you guys on that in, like, my future videos. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my hair, um, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe even, like, suggest other colors for me to try later on because, you know, green is going to fade. Might as well experiment with other colours in the spectrum. But yes, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!